Okay, welcome everybody to this remake of my 3D freeze frame tutorial. The uh, original tutorial was a bit uh, well, crappy. My screen capture software wasn't all too good. But that has changed now, so I thought I'd uh, redo this tutorial. I'm also going to use some other footage which uh, shows off the effect a bit better. Okay, let's get started. I'll first show you the effect we're going to make. There it is. A portion of our video is frozen in 3D and the backside is made of glass. Or at least looks like that. Okay, let's get started. Import your footage and drag it onto a new composition and track your camera. Go to the camera tracker and click track camera. We'll let this analyze and I'll get back to you when this is done. Okay, the camera tracker has done its job. Got some nice tracking points here. Now we're going to need uh, the point where the camera turns and we are about to show the backside of our imaginary freeze frame that's about here. So I'm going to place a null at this position and this is where we're going to place the, uh, the freeze frame layer. So hold down shift and lasso select a few points here. Right click and choose create null and camera. Here we have the tracking null. And as you can see, it stays in place very nicely. Now we're going to import the same video again to position uh, 3 that's here I'm going to rename this layer freeze frame and we're going to determine the point where we want to see the layer appear I think just before we start to move forward here at 4 seconds is a nice position just in case, I always like to mark uh, the null layer at this point. I put a marker there. Go to the freeze frame layer and set the end point of your layer to this point in time. Hold down Alt and press open bracket. Now go to layer time freeze frame. Now we need to crop this layer to the selection that we want. For this I've uh, put a link in the description below to the um, Creative Impatience Feathered Crop a plugin which is free. I like to use this plugin instead of the uh, linear wipe effect which you can also use for this. Only linear wipe you need to use it four times. The feathered crop is much easier I think. So we're going to put that onto our freeze frame layer and just crop to the selection that you want to use. It helps if you lower the opacity of your background layer. So type T and lower the opacity. Crop all right. About here. Just a bit of the horizon, maybe, and bottom. Let's see what a null is. We place the bottom at the position of the null, approximately. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just about here. It helps if you scale up the null a bit. That way it's 
a bit easier. Okay, turn up the opacity again when you're done. Okay, now that is done, we're going to make the freeze frame layer a 3D layer. And now we need to pick whip this layer to the position of the null. Holding down shift, pick whip to the null. This only works in After Effects CS6. In earlier versions, you'll need to uh, copy and paste in the position of the null to the position of your freeze frame layer. There's a full description of that procedure in my uh, written tutorial blog. We can now unparent this layer right, right away because we only need this method to position the freeze frame layer. As you can see, it's now laying horizontally on the floor. So we need to move it in such a way that it faces the camera. So take your rotation tools and rotate it back up. I'm going to scale down the freeze frame layer, holding down shift. Okay. Shift question mark for a full view. Make it a bit bigger, like this. Now with the layer selected, type A for anchor point. And move the anchor point to the bottom of the visible part of your layer. Position it in such a way that it's nicely on the road here. Now we need to put the corner pin effect onto this layer. Type corner corner pin, drag it onto the effects here. Now you need to put the corners of the corner pin effect onto the corners of your composition, like this. Do it crudely at first. You can see what happens now. The freeze frame layer aligns with the original layer. Okay, zoom in a bit, type H for the hand tool and V for the selection tool. Position, position the points accurately. Okay, type shift question mark for full screen. Now we've set up the effects, so let's do a preview, a RAM preview, and see what we've got so far. That looks awesome. As you can see here, there's practically no drift. Yeah, just a little bit. Ah, almost none. If you've got a powerful computer like I have, it also renders quite fast. Okay. Now we can build on this effect. In the original video by Corridor Digital, you can see the back side is made of glass or looks like it's made of glass we can uh, replicate that effect so let's try that now we're going to move to where the layer flips over where we see this side on view now copy the freeze frame layer control D set the out point of your original freeze frame layer to this point in time, Alt and brackets. Set the in point of your freeze frame copy to this time, Alt open brackets, like this. And now set the blend mode to, let's see, darken the blend mode of the copy. We are going to rename this freeze frame flip side Oops. flip side just to keep things organized as you can see it's now see through now in order to displace what we see through the glass like real glass would do we need to make a displacement map from this layer so once again 
copy this layer control D put the tint effect on to this layer let's see color correction right down here tint we need displacement maps to be black and white and precompose the layer layer precompose move all attributes into new composition okay now it's moved position but don't panic turn on the 3d switch for this layer and put on the collapse transformation switch and we'll reset the blend mode to normal oh it's already done now you can turn this layer off and drag it to the bottom position because we don't really need to see it now in order to displace the background we need to copy the background layer Control D delete the camera tracker effect from this we don't need it type in CC glass and put that onto the background layer copy like this now open up the effect surface set the bump map to our freeze frame layer our displacement map layer I should say layer number seven now play with the parameters a bit so you've got the effect you want something like this you can also lower the opacity a little bit make it look a bit more convincing and there we have it one more thing you see it's a bit lighter than the surroundings this layer I think and this is the cause yes so we need to set endpoint of the background copy to the endpoint of the freeze frame flip side layer that way this problem is avoided again as you can see it looks very good nice okay that concludes this tutorial thank you for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial please consider subscribing to my channel add edits more tutorials will be uploaded very soon. Also check out my After Effects tutorial blog. There's some interesting articles on there and also some uh, free presets for Video Copilot's optical flares um, inspired by the Super 8 movie. Okay, that was it. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.